Oh, man. All right, let's see. Uh, let's go here. All right. So I grinded a little bit last night. <laughs> Don't you guys love it when I start the stream saying, so guys, a little bit off camera, I, uh, I grinded a little bit. And then you guys are like, oh god, what did he do? What did he do? Well, as you can see, uh, two of our favorites are in my party right now. What's going on, Kingdom? How you doing, dude? Two of our favorites have their Mirage boards filled. Greg and Ultros. Greg finishes his Mirage board at 52. And Ultros finishes his at 54. You know what I didn't notice? You actually get um, three bonus SP at level 50. Gregity. And now we're going to do some side quests because I want to unlock the Tama evolution. <laughs> Did some grinding off screen. <laughs> Everybody loves that one. Uh, Port Besaid. Yeah, that was Morag. <laughs> oh, God. Morag, uh, Morag goes for those super long playing sprees. Oh, nice, Aces. Nice, man. Oh, yeah, I saw you, um, I saw you bring up the link earlier. I need to get a tissue, I think. I'm probably a little sick. <laughs> Where's my tissues? Just a little runny. Yeah, Morag does that. Morag does that where he gets really into a game and he just doesn't stop playing it for like 17 hours straight. He does that. What's going on, Jimmy? How you doing? Apparently, it's some sort of side quest sacred, yeah. I don't know which side quest it is, though. I only know it is a side quest. I can't believe I got to lay eyes on it. My goodness. What's going on, Kronk? How you doing? The young Mirage Hunter 1. Another Mirage. What does your son want now? Alright, I gotta read the quest. This is one where you literally have no choice but to read the quest. Uh, it needs to be... It's watercolored. It hops around and goes ribbit. Okay. I have. Ex I know exactly which one that is. Eh, Cave of Cornelli is fine. Wait, why did I come back to you? I could just... I just stand at my prism. Yeah, I'm doing my side quest now. I think it might be this one. I don't know, though. What's going on, Pope? How you doing, man? And don't worry about it, Makote. I will not be playing that long today. I have raid later today. And I stayed up a little bit to grind so I could get Ultros and Greg to, uh, to a point where I felt comfortable to use them. So, yeah. It's going good, Doc Ray. How you doing today, dude? <clears throat> All right, which, where is it? Hey, Cyber, welcome back for the fourth month in a row. Can I get some love in the chat, please, and thank you for Cyber. <laughs> and also, Darth Saber, with the one year, 12 months, one year, however one you want to look at it. You know, there's no point in me not running all the way back to the kid to try and do another one. Thank you, you guys, for the resubberinos, and of course... Welcome to the Mr. Happy Army. Yo, I appreciate that. I need a little bit of caffeine this morning since I didn't make coffee, so I have a, I have a soda. <laughs> that sounds like a good plan to me, Sora. <clears throat> the Young Mirage Hunter side quest. Alright, what do they want next? Letting me hand in a quest remotely does not help when I need to run back to the NPC every time. It's a shiny gold box with lots of diamonds. Uh, oh, it's... All right. The next one is... I'm not going to read that. Read it there. I'll just read it here. Okay, so it's a shiny gold box with lots of diamonds. 
I think I know which one that is. That's the golden mirage that I caught. That's the only thing that I could think is a gold box. With lots of diamonds beating it to mimic. Alright, let's do that then. Back to the prism case we go again. I can't joyride in town. I want a joyride. Come on now. Let me joyride. It's, it's quests like this that you want to guide for, so you can just have them all in your inventory. Hey, did you guys know that it's Final Fantasy XI's birthday today? We're not playing it to celebrate. Shut the fuck up. I just, wanted, I just wanted to put it out there, all right? I'm not, I'm not touching it. Phrasing. Uh, the golden mimic box. Where is that? Should be this one. No, it's not. It might be the Mimic Queen then. A gold box with lots of diamonds. Oh wait, wait, wait. Is this the gold one? Oh, I think that's the gold one. Oriole. Uh, I might need the Mimic Queen, is the problem. No, I've been on the bottom right the entire time, Roko. I've been there forever. I don't know, Mimic Jackpot just seems like the right one. The only other one, it could be, it could be the Magic Jar, it could be the Magic Pot. Okay, let me read it again. Maybe there's the last line. I thought it was treasure at first, but nope. Huh. It's gotta be the Mimic Queen, then. Like, there's no way it's anything else. Which is, I mean, I could get the Mimic Queen easy, but... Like that. Oh, diamonds. Yep. She has diamonds in her curls. Alright. That shouldn't be that hard to manage. He needs what? 4, 6, 8, 12, 16, 20, 23. He needs to be level... He needs a total of 23 SP, so he needs 20 levels. And he can turn into Mimic Queen. Okay. I've heard good things, Kronk. Alright, so here's what I'm going to do. This will take me maybe 5-10 minutes max. Oops. No, I want to use the gate. No. <laughs> yes. Return to Nine Wood Hills. Jesus. What's going on, Lost Crowd? How you doing, dude? Oh, yeah. They just put that on the uh, low zone this morning. Cyber. Let's go to Crystal Tower. Okay, we'll get him to level 20, and then with level 20, he should be high enough to turn into a Mimic Queen. Then I'll just transfigure him, and then we'll go. This is where I did the majority of my grinding last night, anyway. Since, um, I didn't want to go to the final zone. The final zone is where I should be able to do the majority of my, like, final grind. But I couldn't do that for the time being. I do have the Mimic in my inventory, right? Yes, I do. Okay. Stop it, Arnold. Stop it. I'm ready when you are. I work here. Good it's job. Done. Like what, BB? The feast itself is fine. It's just that it needs. It doesn't have enough of a competitive edge. I'm near the end of the game. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, so it is a side quest, okay. What's going on, Bait? How you doing? I mean, I'm on chapter 21. I just quick. have to go to the cathedral and I'm good. Right, I just gotta get this mimic to level 20 and I'm Gucci. <laughs> Every time I finish a fight with Gilgamesh, he has a little kabuki thing. Yeah, he's already level 15. I'm doing good, Baiting. 
just trying to start working towards my platinum trophy. I'm also 64% done with the uh, with the Mirage board. I'm sorry, with the uh, the Mirage journal. Oh, rank degradation. Yeah, that's true. It does need rank degradation. It needs to be pretty rapid rank degradation too. <laughs> What's going on, Dreamy? Three centuries. Three whole centuries. Can I get some love in the chat for Dreamy and those three centuries? And of course, Bulb. Welcome to the Mr. Yeah, the subhype command. Army. Anne is uh, Anne's on vacation today, guys. Anne is very much on vacation today. Hey, Sora. I'll see you. I'll see you, Sora. Level 18. What? Probably two or three more fights, and he'll be good to go. If I get one more of those, actually, he should be insta level 20. Well, at least now with all these lightning based bosses, I have a bunch of thunder element shit. Like, I have Thundog, I have Don't Thunderbolt. Wait. I've got a lot of shit that they are weak to. Get him, Greg. The last chapter is pretty long fix. The last chapter is like a third of the fucking game. Uh, Ultros is pretty overpowered. Ultros having critical plus plus, critical plus, and critical plus on top of a bunch of different spells makes him effective, to say the least. There we go. Actually, I could have done that at level 18, but that's fine. Because now I gotta transfigure... Oriel into the Mimic Queen. Yeah, Ultros is really, really powerful. On his own. Alright, there we go. The Young Mirage Hunter. Alright, let's see what the next Young Mirage Hunter quest is. Good morning, Sebs. How you doing this morning? <laughs> now the problem is I gotta go back and see what else that quest has. Hey, at least it encourages me to do some evolutions. I didn't own a Mimic Queen prior to that. Now I do, so... That, uh, that makes my life a little easier. Considering one of the... One of the, uh... Trophies is to 100% complete your Mirage Journal. Capture one of every Mirage. I think that includes Transfigurations. As long as you have all their Transfigurations unlocked... At some point or another, then you're, you're good to go, I think. If you don't, then, well... Meh. Yeah, buddy, Sebs. Yeah, buddy. I'm working on that 100%. That platinum, though. Alright, what's the next quest they're gonna have? I guess I'm getting plenty of gill doing this. This runs back and forth are worth a lot in their gill. Well, oh, would you mind? A bunch of eyes and a big mouth. If I had to guess... A bunch of eyes and a big mouth sounds like a Malboro. Um, I should have the transfiguration for that. I'll read it again when I get back to my prism case. It's too bad that no matter what, I have to make a run. Like, if I go up there, it leads to the zone before the Crystal Tower. But I have to go through an entire other zone. Not an entire other zone, like one one little area. Whereas I could just run back to Port Masaid. Either way, it's about the same distance of a run. This is probably a little bit shorter. Alright, what did it say? A bunch of eyes. Uh, a whole bunch of eyes and a big mouth. And it stinks real bad. Yeah, that's a Malboro. I don't think it'll let me use my Malboro Menace. It probably wants a direct Malboro. Luckily, I have access to that. 
No, my Malboro can become a can become a uh Mal Yep, see? I can become any of those things. I might as well just run back. Like <laughs> no matter what I have to run back anyway. I also had the Malboro menace that I caught with the uh the princess the princess flan. Oh, the good old princess flan. One second, guys. What's going on, loot? How you doing? By the way, I will, uh, I will punch you in the face, loot. How's it going, Angel? How's it going, man? God, I wonder how many of these Mirage Hunter quests there are. Yes, that's cool. 6,000 gil. Oh. A huge oh. robot. It was a huge robot. Robot. A huge robot. Uh, so it's a huge robot you can ride around in. That's a, that could be a few different ones. A huge robot you could ride around in. That could be the Death Machine. That could be the Magitech. That's really not specific enough. What's going on, Luthios? How you doing, man? For work at the Ricardo's. Come man. Come man. Mm. This one's iffy. I'll have to try a few different things. I have a lot of robots I could ride around in. Let's try let's try the most basic one first. Okay, no. It's Oh, no, that did do it. It was just Magitek armor. I have never heard of it before in my life, Angel. What's going on, Tencode? How you doing? There you go. That works, Vivi. I know, Arclane. I know. It's only a month away. A month and a day. What's going on, Crow? Oh, technically... Yeah, a month and a day. <laughs> What's going on, Crow? How you doing, man? A robot you can ride around in. I guess Magitek made the most sense. Is that I mean, you go check their gear, and if their gear's not better than yours, Esther, then you know it's your rotation. Okay, Simple as so that. Mmm. Oh. Oh, one of those pop-up stores. I don't see too many of those nowadays. It's tough business. Uh, so I guess it's a pretty black cat with really big eyes. I think I know what that is. That's um, one of the sphinx-looking cats. Black cat with big eyes. Yeah, that sounds like the sphinx-looking cat. I know which one that is. It has to be good. That's the thing. If you do a seasonal store, the pay better be good. Nah, it's probably the uh, Sphinx cat that I have. <laughs> Bring him Shaloda. Shaloda's like, hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? Dude, Shaloda was an awesome cat. Are you kidding me? <laughs> there. I mean, that's a black cat with really creepy looking eyes. Yep, that's the one. These are pretty easy to figure out, thankfully. I just don't know how many of them there are. Jesus Christ, Angel. That's a lot of time. One second, guys. Important business email. Uh, 
Um, guys, what's the... Uh... Actually, no. Mm. Sorry guys, important business email. Very, very important one that just popped up. Alright. Sorry about that, Doctor. Have you found anything that increases or decreases? Yes, there's the lore mirror jewel and the stealth mirror jewel. Exactly as Bert just said it. Oh, nice Angel. Glad to hear it. Glad to hear it. Three windstones. Uh, maybe I should just read the first message every time so I don't have to keep opening my damn adventure logs. That sounds like a good deal to me, loot. Um, as soon as you get to the Coliseum, you have to face them and capture them, Sebs. It's a ghost with an orange mask. I know exactly which one that is. You get that, you get the lore mirror jewel really early on. Dude, Vivi, what if it wants all 200 mirages? I will kill myself. <laughs> I will kill myself. <laughs> I will end me. I wish I could pick the kid up and put him on my head. Um, orange mask, orange mask. There's only two ghosts with masks, and one of them has to have an orange one, I'm assuming. Uh, I went right past them. Or I did not. Man, I caught him way earlier than I thought I did. I thought I caught the, the dude with the orange mask way later in the game. Oh, there he is. Ramua? You mean Ramule? Her name is Ramule. Um, she has a pretty decent Mirage board so far. She's got Haste, Regen, Enhanced Thunder, Thundaga, Magic Plus Plus. She's got a few blank spaces, Thunder Converter, Thunder Bolt, which is really good for a cheap one. Resist Magic Down, uh, Resist Magic Down Mirror Jewel, Enhanced Thunder. She's got Enhanced Thunder a few times here. She got, like I said, she's got a few blank spaces that work really well. Well, the thing is, Meta, what happens is you pre-order the game, and then it gives you Coliseum tickets in the game itself. Um, and then with those Coliseum tickets, when you go to the Coliseum, it unlocks them as uh, challenges, level 14 challenges. And then you just, you just have to capture them inside their challenge. Yeah, there's... It's... Uh, I forgot how to get that one sacred. Somebody somebody told me how to get that one, I just don't remember. It's a quest, obviously, but... Alright, kid. Three Earth Spell Stones. Okay, so it's like the King of the Ocean. And it King of the Ocean has got built-in camouflage. I know exactly which one that is. Remember the stupid uh, shark that I found that had camouflage? And we were like, why the fuck does it have camouflage? It's that one. I might need its evolved form, though. That's the question. I might need to go level it a little bit. Uh, you need their mementos fix. 
you don't get their you don't get the the highest tier mementos until you uh until um there's a level 55 coliseum fight fix go beat go beat their level 55 coliseum fights that'll get you the ramu ifrit and shiva mementos for ifrita it's a uh it's one of those um interventions and so uh, and then, yeah i think Shivo and Ifrita are both intervention missions, and Ramul is a level 70-something uh, Coliseum mission, or Coliseum fight. Yep, that's, that's what I did, Ark. <laughs> uh, which one was it? It was the Camouflage. Camo, camo Shark. There's Camo Shark. Yeah, I need to evolve Camo Shark. I need to go level him a little bit. Yeah, he needs his evolve form. So that's going to cost, let's see, 1, 4, 7, 9, 13, 14, 17, 20. And he needs to be at least level 21 anyway. Okay, that works. Let's just go get him level 21. <laughs> Let's just go get him directly to 21. That should be enough. Boop. Hey, what's going on, Loom? How you doing? Uh, I'm working on the Platinum Trophy right now, actually. Um, I still have to beat the last boss and some of the optional bosses, but I'm working on capturing all the Mirages, doing all the side quests, all that stuff. Completing all the interventions, etc., etc. Right now, I'm working on a side quest. I'm working on side quests because I eventually want to get to the one where Tama evolves. And then if you're a young kid who doesn't know any better, then the game's actually challenging, Vivi. <laughs> Mastering Mirage Boards. I mastered... I think I've only mastered four Mirage Boards. I need to master a lot more for, uh, Mirage Boards. Bad. Thank you, Gilgamesh. Thank you. And Ultros. Yeah, I want to... Well, the thing is, I'm not actually going to use the Evolve form of Tama. I just want to use the fucking, like, 60 SP that he has. She has. That's all I want to do. Because she's going to be stupidly powerful once I spend that SP. Depending on how much of it I actually need to spend to master the board. Dude, that's the tough part. My work here is oh, yeah. Thank you, Ultros. I'm glad your work here is done. Uh, Tommy Evolve Quest isn't until after the main story. Alright, that's fine. I get these side quests out of the way, then do the main story. Either way, I have to stop and do these side quests regardless. I really like it, Gibson. I am a fan. God, give me the good... Oh, whoops, I forgot to actually step in. Where is it? There you go. Oh, really? I got the bad RNG and I didn't actually hit him more than once? No trouble. Good job. Alright. Five more levels. Come on, give me the one that give like 40,000 EXP. And step through the save point so I can actually heal. I will beat this game today. That much I know I will do. Alright. Somehow they got the jump on me. That wasn't so bad. No, I'm fine with that, Doc Ray. Like I said, I'm working on that plat trophy. I gotta do the Azure Prophecy. Yeah, uh, I just have the final boss to go. The thing is, I have a feeling this quest eventually gets me the Rat's Tail or the Griffin Heart. No trouble at all. 
Victory! It's definitely going to be one of those two. It's definitely going to be one of those two. Tomorrow's going to be interesting. See how our dueling goes. I don't think there are any missable trophies. Every single area in the game I've been able to go back to. Every single one has been returned. And it seems like all of the uh, rare spawns can actually respawn. So even if I kill one of the rare spawns, I can always go back and get it again. So I don't think there are any missable trophies. God damn, stop giving me these. Where's the good ones? Gilgamesh is actually really, really good. Like, as a physical attacker, he he's really, really good. Alright, one more level for him. Uno more level and he's done. See, Arclane understands. You just go to that one area, wait for them to respawn, you Gucci. Well, you just zone out a couple of times, they come back, apparently. Um, I think for Gilgamesh, I took Resist Berserk, and I think for Ultras, I took Magic Plus Plus Plus. Alright, you should be able to evolve now. You goddamn right I am, 10. I don't know why I keep underestimating how much that is. Loot! Gregory Mesh. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. Thank you for the 100 cheers, dude. I could have actually only... Well, he needed level 21 no matter what, actually. So, that's wrong. Alright, so let's go back then. Magic plus 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 I was just checking something. Oops, no, I wanted to travel. My focus is going to be on 15 soon also. That's why I got to get through this. That's why I got to get through this game faster. I got to go fast like Sanic. If I don't go fast like Sanic, how can I ever expect to do this? I really wish I could use my friggin' mount in towns. Ultros did not have the joyride skill, I don't think. Let's go. Go faster. Why doesn't it go faster? I can turn the battle speed up. I need to turn the speed the game runs at up. Rolling around at the speed of sound. Got places to go, gotta follow my rainbow. This is a big shark. Whoa. It's even bigger than I thought it'd be. Phrasing. Well, hello. Okay, so it's an old man that, it's shoots, an old man that shoots lightning and thunder, and he always spoils his granddaughter. 
Oops. No, I know exactly who it is you're talking about. I have his son with me right here. Can I just evolve you instead? <laughs> oh, yeah, I can. Here, I'll just change it to you then. Unfortunately, I need to go all the way back and trans transfigure him. It's up to you, Pad Dog. He's good. He's good. I have his grandson right here. Does that count? <laughs> it's not his grandson. What's going on, Sacho? How you doing? Well, this game has fast forward, but it's only in combat. Alright. Excess prism case. Uh, you know what? I'll just trade out. Oops. I'll just trade out uh, the other one because I don't feel like redoing my stacks. It's way too much trouble <laughs> when I could just do this. What you doing over there, Aloha? That's one of the transfigurations for Wild Zapts. I don't want it. I don't want it. I'm doing good. I'm just trying to burn through these friggin' side quests right here. I have to do so many. <laughs> so many side quests. Sorry, Lon. <laughs> Sorry. We'll get back to your puns in the main story soon enough. Yes. How do they know about all these mirages? Tell your son to stop adventuring out. Okay, so it's a pr okay, pretty lady covered in ice. I'm just going to grab Ifrit while I'm at it, right? Right? I should just grab Ifrit while I'm at it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm going to go do that. What's going on, Grindy? How you doing? I'll turn my Bablis into Shiva, and I'll replace Ramu with Ifrit. Save myself the trouble. <laughs> I guess I should have figured that was going to happen. Yeah, I have an Ifrita. Ifrit is part of a uh, an intervention quest, and then she pops up in the Coliseum as a level 70 plus quest. What's going on, Hakuman? How you doing? If he asks, now you're making me afraid he's going to ask for Ifrita instead of Ifrit. I'm going to take my chances that he won't. Nah, never mind. No, I won't. I'll just bring both. All right, Bablis, Bablis, Bablis. I'll take my chances that it will. Please just ask for Ifrit and not Ifrita. I also have Ramul. I didn't even die, Arclane. I just got lucky on the first attempt. How you doing? Wait, I just realized no one even noticed. The screen, the green screen was off. Yeah, there is. There's the Mirage Journal back at the Twins Room. I have 65% of my Mirage Journal done. It even keeps track of the ones that are unimprisonable. I've been enjoying it a lot, Sachio. The side quest I wish was closer to. <laughs> Something else, though. There he is. Yep. A big, white, beautiful fox with lots of lives. That's Fenrir. There is, but it costs 3,000 gil every time you use it, Makote. Well, you have to buy one for 3,000 gil every single time. So I would basically have to go buy about 20 of them right now. No, you can't 100% before beating the game. There's some stuff that only unlocks after you beat the game. I'm just trying to get as much done as possible before I do that. It's definitely Fenrir. The, the Seraphones are like 3,000 apiece. Hey, Maki, what's going on, dude? Oh, I have... Oh, no, no matter what, I would have needed to do something, because I have Cerberus on me. Hmm. That's not right. It's not Fenrir. Oh, 
white fox. Interesting. Let me read the description again. I don't think there are any missable trophies. What's going on, Huntek? How you doing? There's a boy who's... Okay, so it's a big, white, really beautiful fox who's got lots of lives. It might be Evolved Tama. This might not be beatable until later. Ah, oh, that's right. It's a, he's a wolf, not a fox. Yeah, that might be his Evolved form. It's gotta be Super Tama. Yeah. Okay, so that quest is done. Alright, let's change him back to Cerberus and consider that quest finished for the time being. The battle for tea time. Chase off five red captains, captains in the watch planes. Alright, that's where we're going next. No, the Knack Evolution is Fenrir. Grindy. It's Fenrir and then Cerberus. Uh, okay. Watch planes. Hey, what's going on, Blue Boats? This game is Final Fantasy. It's World of Final Fantasy, as a matter of fact. Welcome to the stream, by the way, Blue Boats. Hey. Hey. How you doing? I just need to kill a bunch of red caps. Luckily, Uncle Ulti can uh, handle that pretty fine. I'm sitting for 10,000 now, at least. I should really make that AoE, though. I'm doing good this morning, Huntick. How about you, my man? Good job. They already made the tomahawk joke. Yeah, you like Uncle Ulti? These are not red caps, these are regular goblins. Glad to hear it, Huntick. Glad to hear it. What's a Bahamu? Fucking Lan. Fucking Lan. Once again. Come on, Ultros. I need you to find me the red captains, not these stupid goblins. The red captains, I think, are a little bit further into the watch planes. Hey, what's going on, Meekly? How you doing? Still not the enemies I was looking for. I do have Mightiest of Swords, don't forget. Yeah. Good job. I uh, I used Mightiest of Swords and I got Excalibur instead of Excalibur and it hits really fucking hard. Holy shit. What if he doesn't talk? What if he just makes funny faces at you, Ark? I can do with that. Uh, no. Omega is a very special kind of special. Omega, I need, like I said, I need to do anywhere between 32,000 and 36,000 damage in a single hit to Omega. That's the kind of thing that won't happen when I'm 20 levels under... When I'm 20 levels under him. No, I wish these poor monsters so would work more EXP so I could just fucking keep murdering them. It's the same amount of effort, just way less reward. These poor monsters deserve every second of what they're getting. 
Until I find five red caps, they deserve every second of it. Monster lives don't matter. Not here, they don't. These are Mirage lives. I had a feeling he was going to find an item here. The stroll command usually works near huts and things like that. Come on. Jesus Christ. Damn, where the fuck are these red caps? They said watch planes, and yet I haven't seen a single one because. Oh, there they go. Found them! Bitch and you shall receive. Remember that golden rule of the internet. Bitch and you shall receive. And it worked. And New Jersey meta. Well, sort of. Blonde guy is Lan. No Good job. It's Lan. Hey, Tama. What's up, man? How you doing, Tama? Lan. His name is Lon. God damn it. Oh no, Leaf Dagger. One day, Huntick. One day. Got this. You got this. I never went this way before, so there's probably a treasure chest. Yep. Considering one of the achievements is to catch, is to catch, to find every treasure chest in the game, I find that to be important. I also find actually finding red caps to be important. And yet, I still have not found, it. like, more than two of them. I didn't realize they were such rare spawns. I found them all over the place before. Good job. believe in the red cap life red cap lives matter no they don't well there's two there's a red cap tin also or a red guard I need one more one more in this side quest is done also this was a side quest I got actually pretty late into the game I don't know why they gave me the side quest like in I think I got the side quest in Port Besaid to kill five of these things I, sh I mean it's also only part one of the quest series Yeah, those ones are always tough on deck. Oh, there we go. That should be number five. That was on the, next the, the jokes grow on you, Khalil. What do you mean, treasure map? Oh my god, it's not the red goblins it wants. It's the fucking red guard. The red captains. Ugh. That's gonna take a while. The red captains are not super common. Yeah, this is the same area as the, dem uh, area as the demo. Well, that's two, at least. God damn it. Should've known. Alright, now I need three more. I had to run all the way up here before I even found anything. You're telling me I still gotta fucking find three more of these things? 
Oh, you're killing me here. You're killing me, Smalls. You're killing me. The closer I get to the top, the more of them there are, though. Those are not any of them. As long as we have Uncle Old here, okay. Uh, if you beat the, uh, if you beat the demo... I mean, I'm sure somebody will make one eventually, you claw, but the game itself isn't going to come with those. Uh, yeah, you can get a Magitek armor. Magitek armor P, which is basically a police Magitek armor. <sighs> make me hunt down enemies. Oh, they're all dead. Oh, wait. With moon speed. AKA Japanese. Uh, but you don't get that, uh, you can't get the Magitek Armor P until a couple of hours into the game. Just keep that in mind also. Alright, there's Red Cap number three. Boop. And then you still need to capture it. It just unlocks it in the Coliseum, pretty much. At least I'm getting a few other rewards. There's one of those one-way gates. At least all the spawns here have it as a possibility. God, and this is only part one of the hunting side quests. That means there's going to be a lot more of them. <laughs> I don't know if there's going to be as many as I've had to do with the, the, the other hand-ins. Like, I need the Tama evolution now. But there's going to be some shit. That much I can guarantee. Alright, there's number four. One more, guys. One more. So we can get the hell out of here. Uh, this is more of a... Uh, well, this is also a completely different gameplay style. This is a turn-based RPG and a collection-style game. Like, uh, like Digimon or Pokemon or any of those. Let's make and it also isn't Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> so I don't know if that works. It's literally like brimming with, although one can't deny that, especially because they're putting Sora in this game in December. I can't believe they're putting Sora in this game in December. What's going on, Rhino? How you doing? I heard good things about Cyber Sleuth. I heard good things about Cyber Sleuth. the most action that this fucking uh, campfire has gotten in a long time. I don't want to kill the doge. I but I heard so many good things, Arclane. Uh, the only thing that's really influenced is the art style of the main characters when they're Lilikin. Other than that, not really Kingdom Hearts themed. <laughs> There's gates. For Kingdom Hearts. There's no gummy ships. Kingdom Hearts. Although I did basically open Kingdom Hearts in Chapter 20. I opened Kingdom Hearts and now the world is going to be destroyed. I'd say it probably it has minor influence. World of Final Fantasy. No kid gloves for you. Oh my god, what happened to all the red caps? What happened? Well, oh, okay, yeah, it's kind of annoying. Whereas in this game, you just fill the board and then you can evolve whenever you want. Yeah, that's a much better... This is a much better system in our game than that game. I think most would agree, Arclane. PC release ain't gonna happen for a long time. It'll happen eventually, Arc. I mean, they're bringing everything to PC slowly but surely. Just not anytime soon. Thank God. 
All right, that makes five red caps. Victory! Thank you, Gilgamesh. All right, that makes for five red caps. Now, where was that quest? The battle for tea time. In Figaro Castle. If I go back to Figaro Castle, I bet you, you could bet your ass I'll probably have to accept another one of those quests. That's kind of weird, Ark. That's pretty weird. Figaro Castle, Figaro. Figaro, 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 Figaro. Uh, and then I think this quest was up here. Yep, she has another one. What do you know? Another quest. There you are. There's no gear, but there is evolving. There's Mirage Boards. Malboros. Where the hell did I encounter those again? Like, straight up Malboros. Where did I encounter them? Windswept Mire. Wow, it's been a long time since I've been to the Windswept Mire. Yes, I did, Black. That was the magic jar. Whoop. There's like 200 mirages for me to capture in this game. Windswept... Oh, no. Actually, it has been a long time. Windswept Meyer was back in Chapter 9? Uh, I found a blue eyes white something. It's racist. Right, I gotta find kill three Malboros. What do you mean, Ark? Fucking friends, jumping out at me and shit. Oh, when I get a turn, I'm gonna murder these guys. I don't know, it's pretty simple, you just give him an elixir. Well, that that wasn't so bad. Just give him an elixir arc. At least these guys are worth more than fucking 400 EXP. That's a good step up. I don't remember where I found Malboros here. Oh, hey! <laughs> that answers my question. Victory. It means that when you use a, uh, it means that when you use an elixir on the person with the magic jar, um, they get things like strength plus, defense plus, etc., etc. It's not a permanent one. Think of it like using an elixir to buff yourself for the fight. Think of it like that. They they act as like a strength potion, a, a, a defense it. potion, etc., etc. Ulti, these things could be your, like, little brothers. They're not octopi, but it works. Just pretend. You can stay here with them, Uncle Ulti. You can stay here with them and leave me alone. And stop trying to touch touch me in naughty places. Because that's all he tries to do. Or we could just keep just keep getting annoyed by these things instead of finding three Malboros. That first Malboro I found, that's my work here is done. Let's hope that the rest of my Malboro finding isn't does not take that long. Luckily, Ultros is really good. I think he still has a few blank spaces I need to fill in. There's number two. Yeah, on to the next oh, yeah. One more and we can teleport the hell out of here. And then I'm gonna go beat the game. Well, I don't know. I'll probably go beat the game after I check a few more of these quests. And I gotta finish the I'm remaining four or five intervention quests that I have. But those can easily wait till after I finish the game. I hope I'm strong enough to beat the game. I, know, I should be. I hope. If not, 
we're gonna run into some problems. Well, 66. But I mean, bullying these little enemies doesn't mean much in terms of being capable of beating the game. Remember when I thought I was overpowered for what's his fucking face? And then I got my ass handed. I almost got my ass handed to me because of the haste that he had. I was good, but oh, yeah. I'm so happy I have Ultras and Gilgamesh. Gilgamesh has a lot of really good skills. He's got one skill that hits like two times. Um, Ultras has an ability that hits, I think, anywhere from five to eight times. I've seen it hit eight times. Octentacle? It should be eight. Even though Ultros is only supposed to have seven tentacles, so it actually makes less sense for him, but whatever. Ultros is an octopus? Does he have only seven tentacles here? Because that's supposed to be a big thing with him, that even though he's an octopus, he only has seven tentacles. I'm not going to sit here and try to wriggle him around to see if they counted right. What's going on, Dwar? How you doing today, man? Oh, and remember that pony that I caught in the Phantom Graveyard? I checked. It does have an evolved form that, that knows Zantetsuken. So that thing does become Odin. The, ho the horse becomes Odin. Oh, I, I found that. Oh, that's right. It's still four optional bosses to face. His hidden tentacles is dick. What's going on, Shadowstar? How you doing? Malboro, come on. I'm begging you, Malboro. What's going on, Dark Link? How you doing today, man? That's not a Malboro. Dark Link, make a Malboro spawn. I need one more. I need Uno Moro. Craig and Ultra is about to hit 56 off these things. No, I didn't, Infinity. I went, I, I, I grinded a little bit more after stream, and I worked on posting videos all night. When I do watch Omen, I'll probably just do a video on it, like, immediately. Yeah. Like, I tweeted out last night, World of Final Fantasy is causing me to shirk a lot of video making. Because <laughs> I just want to get through this game. I'm addicted. I love catching Pokemon and leveling them. I mean, Mirages. I might need to go get something to eat. I'm actually pretty hungry. I didn't eat much last night. Darkling, spawn a goddamn Malboro for me. That was next Save me, man. Save me. Save me from RPG side quests. Everybody's favorite type of quest is an RPG side quest. That's required for the Platinum, Death Warrior. That is required. Alright, oh, yeah. right. now the next one better be a Malboro Dark Link, or you're dead. What's going on, Senshi? How you doing? Uh, no, Snow's not dead. I don't think he's dead. I doubt he's dead. That's it. You suck. You're dead. Now you're dead. Now you're dead, Darkling. I'm gonna have to find you and uh, punch you in the throat. You know, that's just those are that was those were the, that was those were the conditions. If it doesn't work, then I gotta go punch you in the throat. That's how I'm gonna kill you, by the way. Well, there's not much prep that needs to be done, VV, because it automatically level. I don't. I guess I don't know how it sinks. I know it sinks you to 50, but I don't know like. I don't, I don't, I'm just gonna keep running through the zone. We'll see what happens. Maybe there's a better spawn area for Malboros. No, banning isn't killing. Those are two very different things. Do not get them mixed up. Luckily, Ultros just demolishes so these things immediately. Uh, the Platinum in this game is pretty time-consuming. You need to capture every Mirage. You need to get all of the endings. You need to beat... I think you need to... Oh, you need to do all the interventions. That's another one. All the interventions isn't that bad. You basically just gotta play the game. Do everything. 
The hardest is definitely catching all the mirages, though. I, 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 I hope. Opening every treasure chest is another one. There haven't been any missable treasure chests yet. Find all the secret rooms in the dungeons. Well, I still got to beat all the optional super bosses, too. However hard they are, I don't know. Hey, there you go. All right, Dark Link, you get to survive now. That wasn't so bad. The next one's probably going to be a jump up. It looks like for the, the tea time quest, they pick some of the rarer mobs. Luckily, I only needed three Malboros. Good morning, Hilarious. How are you doing today? Hey, hey, a guava. AK guava. Thank you for supporting the stream, and welcome back for the fourth month in a row. Can I get some love in the chat, please, and thank you for the four month of resubmarino. Thank you, thank you for supporting the stream, my man, and of course... Oh. Welcome to the Mr. Happy Army. I gotta go back and accept the new one anyway, so there's no point in handing it in remotely. I have to go there anyway. Just saves me a cutscene when I get there. Hey, 